Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. I'm Jad and I'll be guiding you through IBM Security Identity Governance and Intelligence Demonstration. Our agenda for today's demo would be manual provisioning into Active Directory and automatic provisioning into Active Directory. So let's get started here. So let's log in Administration Console. So let's create our first user. Great, so there you go. We have Alan Wake as our first user. Now let's manually provision Alan Wake into Active Directory. So you click on the user that you want and you click on accounts. You would see uh, he only has the ideas account and that is used for IGI Service Center. So we're going to add an Active Directory sandbox account. I will be using the same username as we have in IGI. So this password would depend on your password policy. And there you go. So now his account is being provisioned into Active Directory. So if you go to Monitor, Out Events, from here you'll be able to see the status of Alan Wake's provisioning into Active Directory. And there you go. So now, Alan Wake has been provisioned into Active Directory. Let's move over to Active Directory and verify that. I'm just going to be doing a quick refresh here. And there you go. You can see Alan Wake has been created in Active Directory. Perfect. So that's manual provisioning into IGI. Now, let's move over to automatic provisioning into IGI. So how I've set this up is we're going to be using a CSV file, which is here. You can see there's the code, the name, the surname, the OU that they will be a part of, and the target. So you would go to Enterprise Connectors, and I've already set up a connector to that CSV file. So if we say start, And there you go. So you would see three new users have been added into IGI. So let's head back over to Access Governance Core. To see the status of the newly uploaded user, you go to Monitor, In User Events. And you would see these are the users that are being processed into IGI. If I do a quick refresh, and there you go. So all three users should be in IGI. We go to manage. And you can see all three users are here. So we have Andrew, Paul, and Burke. If we back the CSV file, we would have Burke, Paul, and Andrew. Great. So now let's verify the targets. If they've been actually provisioned in that specific target. We would see here, Burke has an AD provisioning. And Andrew would have AD provisioning as well. So let's check that. So we have Burke, Accounts, he has an Active Directory, so that's really good. And Andrew has an Active Directory as well. Since Paul was in other, he wasn't provisioned into any other target. Now let's go back to Monitor, Out Events, and as you can see here, the accounts have been provisioned into Active Directory. Now, if you go to Active Directory, we should see we have Burke and Andrew. And there you go, guys. That is manual provisioning to Active Directory and automatic provisioning to Active Directory using IBM's IGI. Thank you, guys. See you guys in the next one.